Hey guys, just a little announcement before we start the video. This is actually my first um, spicy roleplay. <laughs> so uh, I decided to open a Patreon uh, with all types of tiers over there. If you're interested, go check it out. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell. And if you are interested in checking any other of my socials, there will be down below. No. <laughs> oh, you humans. You humans don't cease to amaze me. It is every autumn, no fail, that each one of you steps into a fairy ring and falls here to my kingdom. <laughs> I honestly sometimes think that you did it on purpose sometimes. You didn't even realize, really. Such a warning sign couldn't be more on your nose and you didn't even realize. <laughs> now, why don't you tell me your true intentions before I rip them off from you? Oh, you wanted to see a real fairy. Well, look for it no more. I am right here right in front of you, a real fairy. Oh, why are you scared? Are we not what you expected? <laughs> Do you want to know who I am? I am Oberon, the fairy king. Indeed. So if you don't like how I look, I assure you, you will not like anything else you see in this land. There's no other fairy as fair as me. So it will be really sad to see you come out of that illusion of yours, all disappointed. <laughs> oh goodness, you humans are the funniest thing that could happen to us fair folk. And you all blame us that we get to have so much fun with all of you. Why? Not even like a century ago. You thought that we were all childish, very good to all of you humans. When all you do is ruin the nature that we worked so hard on. Indeed, all of the flora and fauna of your realm, it was all worked upon by us. That's why all animals love us, and all plants love us. All animals except, well, you humans. You just grew and grew and grew 
Till you gather a consciousness of your own. And, well, not even such a smart consciousness now that you seem to ignore the warning signs of us fairies. Mess with the nature, you mess with us. And that's what you all do. So fairy rings are a way for us to trap the most rotten of you all. But today, I seem to have captured someone more innocent. <laughs> you wouldn't kill a fly. I can see it in your eyes. You are but a lost human with a little too much curiosity. And that's what makes you adorable. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Seeing the fear in your eyes. I will never get tired of seeing the fear on humans' eyes. When they discover that we're not... What do you call her? Tinkerbell? <laughs> you wouldn't imagine a fairy to be as big as I am, now would you? Of course not. So it is always a delight looking at the fear, the surprise, the doubt, and the sorrow in humans' eyes when they realize that all their lives, all they've known about fairies have been a lie. And if they do know about the warnings about us, seeing their eyes confirming that all of that was true, it is just delightful. <laughs> So, tell me, what do you think will come next? No, I'm afraid we do not eat human meat. We're not mermaids, after all. No. <laughs> I will not kill you. I'm just talking for myself, of course. I do give orders to all of the furry realm. But not even I can promise you that something or someone out there will not kill you. <laughs> How would my lovely human friend, such a handsome boy, and an innocent one too, how would you want to progress? Oh, you want to go back to your friends and family? <laughs> afraid I cannot do miracles like that. You fell here. You are trapped. Unless you get to become one of us. But for you to get to that, that'll be one hell of a ride. <laughs> Which of course, if you decide to do that eventually, I will be looking at each step you take just so I can have some fun. <laughs> and 
That always ends up marvelously, I tell you. Well, I'm afraid you are not too good of a guesser. So let me tell you what will happen. I am going to release you from that prison that you're in right now. And you're going to obey me, okay? If you don't, we have tortures worse than hell in this realm. Anything you can imagine, and also anything you can't imagine, is possible in here. So, if you decide to betray me, I advise you to watch your step. <laughs> Look at you, boy. You cannot even look at me in the eye. How would you possibly betray me? <laughs> Come here. Give your new owner a hug. Come here. As long as you don't do anything, you'll be my pet. My one and only little plaything. Oh, to have a human man as a pet. That'll be very fun. I can't wait to show you off to the rest of the kingdom. And you won't disappoint me. Now will you? Mm -hmm. That's the answer I expected. You won't disappoint nor betray me for as long as you live. And I assure you, if you gain my trust, if you gain my love, I will make you the happiest human ever. But you should start getting used to this realm's rules, all right? Very well. Never have I ever seen such an obedient human boy. <laughs> You learn a lot. You better learn quick. You don't want to get me mad. Now come on. I'll show you to my chambers. <laughs>